The new Whirlpool W collection with Sixth Sense technology that fully guides you to achieve perfect results. Whirlpool, sensing the difference. <laughs> You're very welcome back. <laughs> now, it's the first Sunday of the month, so you know the rule. That means we allow Simon to take over the kitchen for the day. God, God help us. Yeah, that's the rule. Only once a month. It's a thing, apparently. <laughs> but it's our favourite Sunday. What have you got today, Simon? I have a one-pot wonder, a bit of a family special, this one. Uh, everything in the pot. Let it simmer away for an hour and a half. Come back and you've got a, a bowl of beautiful food. So is, would you call this your Manchester United dish? You can go watch the match. Oh, Ada, don't go <laughs> Pretty there. Much. It was going so well. It's the well perfect amount that. of time, isn't it? <laughs> um, Just leave it on and go and watch some football. What I'm using here is I'm using some uh, chicken thighs. Okay. And I'm going to use some bacon. So I've got these gorgeous chicken thighs which you get from your butcher. Again, thank you to my local uh, family butchers, Howley's out in Lusk, gave me these gorgeous thighs. They will prep them for you, they'll trim them for you, get them pan ready or pot ready. So the recipe calls for six of these chicken thighs. Always I go for the chicken on the bone, more flavour. Mm. Okay. So I've seasoned these and what I want to do is I want to brown these off. And there's two reasons I'm doing that. So first of all, you want to sear all of the lovely flavours and juices into the chicken so the chicken doesn't dry out. Now, even though we're braising the chicken, which means cooking it in liquids, yeah. you still don't want it to dry. You want to seal in all those gorgeous flavours. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm looking to get a bit of colour on it because you'll see some of the chicken that I have uh, br uh, browned off here already. It just looks better in the final dish. So in real time, a couple of minutes each side, I've got some olive oil in there. I've seasoned uh, the chicken thighs and we're going to give them about two minutes either side. Now we won't because we haven't got the time. Sure. But I just wanted to show you the procedure. All you're going to do, turn them maybe once or twice, get a bit of colour until they end up like this. A little okay. bit golden, okay? So that's our chicken ready to roll. Take it out and in the same pan, because now we've flavoured this oil with the chicken fat, chicken juices, we've also got some salt and pepper in there because we had our, seasoned our chicken. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add some bacon. Now, I'm just using normal rashers, about six rashers of bacon. Chop them up. If you want, yeah, exactly, chop them up. If you want to be fancy, pancetta. You, you could use a pancetta, you could use a smoked pancetta, you could use smoked mm. bacon. It's pretty much whatever you have in your fridge, okay. you know, whatever's there. But you're keeping it very family friendly so the keeping kids will eat it. family eat. friendly. I'll tell you how I came up with this dish. Two weeks ago, I had chicken out ready to go and I thought, what will I do with it? I said, I don't want to make a curry. I didn't fancy a stir fry. I just thought I need to do something different. Uh, and I looked in the press and I saw some lentils and I thought there has to be something I could do with these. Now I have to bear in mind as well, my 12 year old Elliot is celiac so I have to err on the, on the side of gluten free. And this is a gluten free dish. And I'm going to be adding some flour in to, to, uh, to thicken up our sauce, but it's a gluten free flour. Mm. So I road tested it on our gang two weeks ago and it's gone straight in the top five dishes. Wow, they yeah, love it. They love it. Brilliant. So in the same pan as I said, we got our bacon going. Again, in real time, you want to give this about three or four minutes, just let it cook down a little bit. We've now got oil in there that's flavoured with bacon and with chicken. Gorgeous. Okay, so we're going so to you're add in. Building your flavours as we're you go. Building the flavours. I've got one onion that I've just finely diced. That's going to go in on top. Now, like I always say when I'm cooking these kind of one pot dishes, give each ingredient a bit of time in the pan just to do what it's supposed to do release its oil, release its flavour. So again, in real time, I would give this another three or four minutes, let those onions just cook down, take on a bit of colour. And then, this is a great dish, Anna, for getting the vegetables into the kids. Okay. okay, sneaky veg. Sneaky veg. So I've got one carrot that I'm adding in here, and you see I've just diced that nice and fine. So basically, you just cut your carrots in half, in half again, and then just dice it, okay? Stealth. Yeah. Two reasons for the reason I'm cooking it. He's done it. a bit of prep here, hasn't he? He's bit done of prep. a lot. Yeah. The reason I'm cutting it so finely as well is because carrots, you know, if you roast a carrot in the oven for two hours, it can still be hard. Again, because we're braising it, we're going to use liquids. You want the carrot to be nice and tender and still retain its shape, though, and give off that flavour. So now we've got onions, we've got our carrots in there. And again, whatever you have at home, if you want to put celery in there, go for it. Mm. I like to use, as always, uh, a lovely big leek that I have washed and chopped. The leek is going to add a gorgeous creamy texture to yeah. the dish. And again, I'm going quickly here, but as I'm adding each of those ingredients in, I'd let them stay in there for two or three minutes before you introduce the next ingredient in. Mm. So it's we're a building good reminder up. because when you're making dinner, especially kind of against the clock yes. for kids, you throw it all together too quickly. Yeah. And you know what, Anna, this is a great dish the day after. 
You know, it's one of those dishes. Like, I'm just serving it on its own. Like, you could serve it with a mashed potato or a boiled potato or whatever. But I actually had a bowl of this the next day, which is basically just a soup with the chicken in it, and it's even better. Beautiful. So we're building layers of flavours. Now, we're going to add in a little tablespoon of tomato puree. Again, this is just to build more layers of flavour. And then a tablespoon of flour. And as I said, I'm using a gluten-free flour. Makes absolutely no difference to the end product in terms of taste. Of course. And basically we're using these to thicken our sauce. So in go our tomato puree and our flour. And you want to, the reason you put these in before the wet ingredients is you want to cook that flour out. If I put my wet ingredients in straight on top of that, you'll get that taste of flour in your finished sauce. You'll mm. get a grain. So right. again, in real time, give this a couple of minutes. You can see the flour has almost disappeared. Okay? And now it's starting to get a little bit claggy. The sauce, is, there's no sauce there, and it's all dried up. The oil has gone into the bacon. There's a new word, claggy. 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 Is that a, yeah, a technical claggy. term? Or a... It's a small town in the middle of Leitrim, <laughs> claggy. It's a lovely place. <laughs> now, this is the, one of the other kind of key ingredients. I'm going to add in some green lentils. Now, I was asking you if you had these at home, would you carry these at home? Most people wouldn't, but... When you're going to buy the lentils, a bag of green lentils in any of the supermarkets, you want to get the ones that you don't have to soak overnight. That's exactly what I was saying to Simon. It, yeah. they, it puts me off using lentils because I think, are these the ones that have to be soaked the night before yeah. or not? Mm. These are ready to go. They're not cooked. They're raw. They need to be cooked, but they're ready to go in terms of they're pan ready. They don't need to be soaked. Okay. Exactly. So again, in with your lentils. And you'll notice still no wet ingredients in there because I'm put, turning the lentils through all the other ingredients so they pick up the flavour of the oil which we've flavoured with bacon and with chicken. So it's a little bit like a risotto. You just want to introduce everything into the mm. pan, let them do their thing. Now it's time for the wet ingredients. We've about two minutes, Jeff. Yeah, we're all good. Our wet ingredients now, and we're going to start with a little glass of white wine. Don't be panicking if we're thinking of cooking this for the kids, which I do, because the oil or the alcohol will cook off, off the wine. Yeah. This is basically for flavour, OK? Lovely. So in goes our wine, and then we're going to hit it with some chicken stock. Lovely. I have about 600 mils here. You might think, God, that's an awful lot, but we're going to cook this over an hour and a half. It's going to cook down, OK? okay. And that's the reason we have the flour in there as well. It's going to thicken our sauce. So that's the base of our casserole. And then all we're going to do is we're going to add back in our chicken, which we have earlier browned off. And all you want to do, I mean, it couldn't be simpler. It's one pot. It's, the key is the prep. Get all your veg prepped and away you go straight away. Gotcha. Get your chicken in there and all you're going to do is you're going to pop a lid on, you're going to walk away and you're going to watch United win 4-0 today against the <laughs> yes. And then That's an hour and a half thinking. later when you're in foul form after United have been beaten, <laughs> yeah, you go at least you'll have a gorgeous dinner. So pop a lid on that on a media, low to medium heat for about an hour and a half and then you end up with this. Now okay. the chicken will pretty much fall off the bone. Now as I say, you can serve this with uh, potatoes, if you want a little bit of mashed potatoes. I like it just on its own. So I'm just going to plate one up to show you. Mm. So I'm going to give you Some a nice... very fancy knives going on there as well, Simon. Uh, well, that's... Now, that knife set, He's Anna, coming up in the world, isn't he, with all his oh, little props? I, I that knife even set, them. Anna, were a present from my lovely mother-in-law, Evelyn. Good ah, morning, Evelyn. Lovely. Uh, Evelyn knows me better than anybody in the world, and she knew what I'd like for my 50th. It was a brand new set of knives. And that's them. And now, there's delivered. one delivered. And they were yes. hand-delivered. Now, there's yours, Anna. Wow. I'll give you a little fork. Very As I say, you're very generous on portion. I am. Aidan, you're going to get the same, my friends. Uh, well, so will good. I pass this down to Aidan? Please, yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Anna. So you can see that the chicken's almost fallen off oh, the bone. that. It's ready to go. The lentils are in there, the bacon in there. This is, uh, this is Flavor Town Central. And you can see the sauce has thickened up nicely. And there you go. This will That's happily such feed. That's a good, hearty, comfort dish. That is a winter warmer. <gasps> mm. And some creamy mash maybe on the sides. And do you know what I do, Anna? Just to make it a bit restaurant you here. Oh, go on. I'm going to come Chef close to you. A bit of parsley over it there. Lovely. To Sorry, that is absolutely gorgeous. I it's wouldn't nice, be a, isn't it? a lentil fan, but no. But you know what? They and they have a little bit of bite in the sauce, and it bulks out the sauce, and it's a great way to oh. get the veg into the kids, introduce the kids to lentils. That is absolutely... That's just comfort food. Great yeah. invention. It's a big hug in a bowl, isn't it? It really is, yeah. Good. yeah. Thank Glad you so much. Well done, Simon. A pleasure. Full re recipe details, as always, for Simon's chicken and lentil casserole are up on our website. That's virgemediatelevision.ie forward slash Ireland AM. Now, up next, as we hit the six-month wall of COVID-19, we'll have advice on how to push through and stay positive. See you back here soon.
You're a genius. The new Whirlpool W collection with Sixth Sense technology that fully guides you to achieve perfect results. Whirlpool, sensing the difference.